So welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us this Wednesday morning to another session of you know, our webinar series about email marketing. And today we are gonna look at adding clickable links. And so in this series, um, if we jump to the next slide here, bear with me. Um, we have been covering and will be covering all kinds of areas when it comes to email marketing. Uh, the last few, um, the last two webinars were the more um, involved and I would say advanced sessions. It was one with dynamic content and one with automation. Um, but today we are going to, I call this the email basic, basic clickable links. We're going to see how we build emails going out where people can click on images, underlines, buttons, and all of that. We're going to take a close look at that. So who are we? So we are Easy Marketing. We work with a website. We work with logos and graphic design, social media, and, and printed materials. And then, of course, we work a lot with email marketing. And you have with us uh, Tony. Tony, will do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Tony McCormick. I just started with Easy Marketing in March, and I do a lot of uh, assisting with whatever they need me to do, pretty much. <laughs> I do whatever they tell me to do, anywhere from <laughs> social media to designing some um, content to writing blogs. So I'm still learning a lot also. So it's been fun. Yeah, and we love to have you here. <laughs> so thank you so much for being with us. So today we're going to look at different links. Uh, we can have links from a website. We can have links from um, that goes to starting up an email. Uh, we can insert link to uh, in your email that will download a document, for example, a PDF file. We will show how buttons, um, we can create those. We're going to make sure that all images that um, not only do they can they click on a button, they can also click on a an image. And we're going to have links to your social media. And we're also going to take a look at one thing, a special function called read more, where you we very easily can pull in a blog from your website and then uh, uh, add that with just a click into your email. So we're going to take a look at all of those things. So this is the email we are going to look at and work with today. And um, when we take a look at the different parts, at the top we have the logo and you need to always make sure that people wanting to go to your website that the logo should be linked to your website. In this case, um, we have a introduction Introduct, uh, introducing, what is it? How do you pronounce it? <laughs> Introducing, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm sorry, this is the Swede that is lost her English today. <laughs> introducing online ordering is the, this fake <laughs> uh, made up email, but um, everyone can see that the call to action in here is place your order. But it's amazing how many people, instead of clicking on the button, actually click on the image. So we're going to make sure that the image here goes to the same place as the button. And of course, that's where we want to have it. Um, this is the part where we are bringing in information from uh, the blog that I just talked to about. And so the whole, this whole section is and taking coming in from a link and with a link takes you, them to your website and then at the bottom we have the footer that's usually always there it has the email address it has the spelled out uh, link to your website we also have something download our menu and then at the very bottom is links to the two social media sites so let's dive right into this and we are going to go if I can find it. 
bear with me here. Let me find my. Oh, here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we are in my test account for uh, Constant Contact, and I had created an email just like the one we are talking about. So this email, what we're going to do now is um, uh, put in uh, links. So the first thing we talked about was the link to the your website because if people want to find out more they are very that's where they click they click on the link here and we do have the there is kind of this made up website that someone at constant contact created about um uh jack's barbecue so this is the home page so if we are going to add a link in here, we would click on the image and here comes the link. You see that? It looks like a link in a chain. And when we click on it, what are we going to link? Are we going to do a website, an email, a document, or a landing page? In this case, we're going to do a web page. And here is the most important part when it comes to linking to another website. Do not type in, even though you know, think you know the website. Always open up the website where you're linking to in a different tab. Up here where the, the URL shows this part, highlight all of it, right click and say copy. Go to the next tab where you were right click and say paste and then we put insert and done because otherwise it's so easy to get if you just get a um, a letter wrong there that link is not going to work the next thing is the online ordering and uh, we will do the same thing I have them on my second screen here, but I just wanted to show you. We have this order online, and let me show you how to add such a button. On the left hand side here, among your tools, you have the button. You just pull that in and drop it where you need it. You click on it, and first you can change the text. And we are going to change the text to order online. And since this is the main call to action in this email, this is the main thing we want them to, to take action on. I'm actually going to go in and make it a little bit larger. And many people are going to do this from their cell phone. So it's good with a big button because now it's really clear what the call of action is here. And we can go back here, and now we're gonna have the link. And this is the link to the order page. And the same thing, you go to the website where it exists, and you copy that and you insert it. And you say done. And uh, did we do the image? I don't think we did that, uh, Tony. No, you haven't done that yet. Okay, so then we do the same thing. You click on the image, you click on link, click on website. You still have that in the memory of your, since you copied that before, and then we say paste. Okay, so now we are linking both the image and the order online button to the order page. Then we're going to take a look and we're going to see at the bottom of, here of the email. This is the footer and it's usually the same thing in every email. And here we have the email address. So if someone wants to give Jack and Jack at the Jack Barbecues an email, instead of just writing it in so someone has to type it, we want to make it a link. So this is running text simple text that I put on here. I'm highlighting it. And one of the options here is link again. 
I'm going to click on link. And in this case, the link is going to go to email. OK. And I happen to. Oh, It's going to be an email, so I'm going to take the same email address I had here, going in here, insert, and this one is um, where we spell out the name of the website. So now we're going to go in and say website, and just like we did before, we're going to open the website, we're going to highlight it, we're going to copy. And we are going to paste that. OK. Um, the next part here is the social media. And social media, these buttons that are in here, is actually a built-in building block in Constant Contact. So you know, we have the main ones over here, image, text, button, divider, and space. But there is actually one more. And if you click on more, you have a couple of options. And one of those is social. Well, we're going to take that. I already pulled it in, but I can pull it one more time so you can see it. OK. And when you click on it to take a look there, you can go in and add it. And here you can decide exactly what different um, social media that you want. You go in and paste in the link to them the same way we did with the website you open up the facebook page when you're on your facebook page you go in and um, paste that in here and you can even change um, the order where you want them okay it looks a little bit weird here but because there were two and the last one was menu this is a regular text row and I can say, download our menu. Again, this time I am setting regular text. I'm clicking on the links. And this time it's going to be a document. So let's say you have a PDF file of your menu. You would go in here and click on document. And then you can upload the document right here. And after you um, uploaded it, you can choose this file and insert it right here. In this case, the main uh, the the main um, the main uh, action we want them to take is to click on order. So therefore, downloading the menu. It's still there, but it's smaller. Um, but if someone doesn't want exactly the St. Louis barbecue combo, they might want to have something else. They can always click and see your full menu. So now we have uh, added a lot of different uh, uh, sections in here. There was one more thing we wanted to uh, add. And let me see. <clears throat> this is a made up website and i don't know if they have a blog <laughs> honestly so i'm going to go to our web page because what i want to show now is how so the latest blog, uh, blog that was written let's take the one that was on may uh, 2nd that you wrote tony this is digging deep with general uh, generation groundworks one of our clients we wrote a blog about it this is the blog this is the link to the blog. If I highlight that, right click and say copy. I go back to my email. And one other thing under more was that I could pull in a read more section. I can take this and pull it in. I need to click on it to edit it. And here I am pasting. Um, I'm pasting the link, and I click on insert. Can you guys see what happened? Swish! The a, the picture from the blog that was written, the headline was used. The first 
uh, lines of content of that blog shows up and then there is a read more button. Can you imagine how quickly you can build a newsletter where you are uh, adding blogs to your website and now with a click of a button you can have them linked right from your uh, email. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to preview this. Uh, so we have the preview up here. So we're going to do three, we have three different things. We're going to click on it. And first thing we're going to do is going to check for errors. This is a brand new function from Constant Contact and very useful. So it is checking and making sure that all the links we put in here was working and everything else that the images were, everything was correct. The next thing is we're going to do is a preview. And you always want to look at this. Usually when you build the, the, your email, you build this um, in, on a desktop. So what you see on the page is usually what you see. But this is when things becomes interesting is when you look at it as in the mobile view. Now you can take a look and see what is it going to look like when people are viewing this on a mobile view? And I have to say, when I start to look at it here, I think I need a little bit more space between that button and this section because they seem to run in to each other. I don't have really that same feeling when I'm looking at, at it on the desktop. So in this case, I'm going to pull in, I can do a divider or in this case, I'm going to pull in a spacer. And I can, you can decide exactly how wide that space is going to be. And white space is always a good thing. So let's take a look and preview this again. And can you see that now this button with order online really belongs to this part. Okay, so that was the look of it. The next thing, and that's important for our workshop today, is we're going to hover over all the email. And the first thing we see the hand come up is uh, on the logo. We're simply going to click on it and make sure it goes to where it is. So it opens up a new tab on my browser. Then we continue down and now we are getting to the, the image and we don't, they don't have an order page. So we, I made it go to the About Us page. And we are continuing and the next one is order online. Comes to the same place. We go down here. It doesn't matter if I click here or read more. When we click on that, you can see that the page is opening up. We continue down and when I click on Jack's barbecue, on my computer, I use Outlook and my email program pops up and the to address is to Jack. It's exactly how I want that to work. This again is going to go to their website. If I click on Facebook, I have our Facebook page set up, set, set up here, but it goes to Facebook and so on. So you just need to check every single thing. And the last thing we're going to check is download our menu. So if I click on that um, in the lower left corner of my screen, um, the menu is going to download. And here it comes. So I'm going to open that up. And of course, this is a fake barbecue place. So I have another company's um, uh, uh, menu in here instead. And so all the links are in the same place, in the right place. And I'm taking a look and making sure it looks good on a mobile phone. And the next thing you should do is to send a test. Um, and you could usually you send a test to yourself. You take a look and see what it looks in your what it looked like in your inbox. 
And usually, I, I, um, if you send to more people in your group, I usually write uh, proof number one, get back to Katrine if you see anything that needs to be changed, and then you send it. So this one is coming into the to my email box in just a second here. So um, with all of this, um, we have added a lot of functionality and ease for people to uh, get in contact with you. So again, we of course, we want them to go to your uh, website and just adding a link from your logo is a given. So. So if we take a look at this, we can right away see that the call to action, the purpose with this one is to order uh, a St. Louis barbecue combo. And the button is the biggest one in here, but there might be uh, other things. Uh, we, we still have the other things if anyone wants to contact us. Okay. I don't see any questions. So um, I, I have a quick one. Mm -hmm. Just um, when it does its own like check for errors, is that including like spelling errors too on that feature? Nope, nope. Uh, it doesn't check for <laughs> errors. But okay, so you're just done checking more to see that the links uh -huh. are working and all that. Okay. Yeah, but there are plugins you can put in your browser that takes care of all of that. Um, so. Um, here are different places uh, where you can see the call to action. And I want you to take a look at um, another thing when it comes to the clicks and the links is that you're going to get a um, feeling of where people are looking and where they are reacting to things. So this is a, an email. Um, oh, now I know what this one. So this was actually a long email that we sent a year ago. I divided it up. It was much longer, but it had one, two, three, four different boxes. Slide presentation, watch the replay, register for October 13, and watch the winner. And when we go back and look at the statistics on this, we can see that we sent 43 emails to everyone that had signed up. The opening rate were almost 60%. And the click rate was 31%. So, um, and one was a bounce. So someone had registered with an email address that well didn't take the, <laughs> the follow-up email. I can also see other things that uh, almost 90% were viewed this on a desktop and 13 on mobile. And here is the one that's interesting. It's the 13% here. And we didn't get any spams. But if I looked at those uh, people and where, uh, where the clicks have been, so there were 13 people that had clicked in here, and where had that gone? So I can see right away that seven of them downloaded the PDF file, seven looked at the YouTube, two people looked at the uh, follow-up, the drawing of a winner, and two people look, uh, um, signed up for the next workshop. So you can follow and see where people are interested as well. And another way to take a look at it is the heat map. If you take a look at that, you can see with um, this purple um, circles, where on the email did people look? And you can see that bigger a circle is, the higher percentage is in there. So um, that's it. That's it for today. We run a little bit long. Do we have any questions? 
and there is a nice thank you in here so then uh, the next thing we are going to do here is um, talk about two weeks from now where we are going to discuss uh, best practices so we're going to look at what are the best practices when it comes to putting together an email we're going to talk about images we talked in detail about um uh, links today we're going to talk about subject lines so i hope that you are joining us on uh, july june 29 and uh, and um we just want to remind you that uh, we do this together with Constant Contact and they have lots of more services than only the emails where they have landing pages and videos and there is a lot of things that can be used for in Constant Contact. So thank you everyone for joining us today. And uh, Thank you for the, the nice comments, everyone. So I hope to see you in two weeks. Thank you, uh, Tony, for joining me today. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Bye.